Hey folks, it's Josh, Tony Rich Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. We gotta take the $100 truck for a little ride today. We're gonna take the lawnmower wheels and tires up to the tire store here in town and have them serviced and have them gone through to make sure that they hold air properly. And we've got a few more little farm chores to get done. I'd like to unload, whoop, where is it? Right there, boom, that mower right there and see if it runs before I pull the motor off and just have a little bit of fun tinkering around here on the farm. So come along, we're just gonna be running around, just getting a little stuff done and just trying to have a good day together. It's a beautiful day, the sun is shining. It's pretty awesome. Let's have some fun. So if you missed the vlog from a couple days ago, these are the tires that were on the mower and we've got to get those serviced. We've got to get this lawnmower, which was given to me, off of the back of this truck. But before we even do that, we want to make sure that it runs and that everything is cool with it because there's no use in putting all that work into this mower without knowing that it runs. So we're going to get the big back wheels, load those up, and we're going to take the $100 truck over to the tire store. Something you don't hear a whole lot about is equipment maintenance and equipment repairs and stuff like that on a farm. Just taking care of equipment and paperwork probably takes up four days of the month of work here on the farm. And the farm's really not up and running making money right now. Just keeping all this equipment running and keeping things going like it should takes a lot of time. A lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of effort. Let's get in a truck and have some fun. Yeah. So the first item of business today is we're going to take this battery and some jumper cables and we're going to make sure this mower runs before we decide we're going to pull the motor off of it. So we're going to hook our jumper cables to it. Guys, if you know of a good pair of jumper cables, post a comment down there. I need something heavy duty that's going to work on the farm and it seems like every set of jumper cables I get is just inadequate or they just crack or fall apart. I need a good set of jumper cables. Tell me if you know of a good brand or a good set of jumper cables. All right, so before we do this, we're gonna check our oil, make sure it's got oil in it and make sure the oil doesn't look like soup. Yep, it looks like brand new oil. My uncle said that he changed the oil in it. It's got a brand new oil, brand new oil filter, and brand new fuel filter, so that's pretty awesome. Hopefully it's got some gas in it. We'll find out in a minute. The battery I have is a 12 volt battery and it's a little bit too big to fit in the spot right here. So we'll have to do a little bit of work. This might be one of those videos that you might be a redneck if you did this. I'm not a redneck, I'm sophisticated. Just watch. Now, I don't know a whole lot about this mower. Let's just give her a turn, see what happens. Oh, well, that's a good sign. See if she's got a choke. Oh, I heard it. There's a choke. like crazy because when we went to pick it up I'll post a link to this video or somewhere up here where we went to pick up this mower my aunt and uncle gave me for free when I got to the site where the mower was it was upside down so it's just burning off all that oil that leaked into there it's running good it's burning like a kitten it's a 17 horsepower water-cooled Kawasaki engine definitely worth going to pick up for free we're gonna let it purr for a little while and we'll go ahead and pull the engine later on in another vlog just let it run for a bit. Sounds good. All right, for all you mechanic folks, you gotta teach me something here. I'm gonna unhook the positive terminal or the negative terminal on the battery and the engine tries to die. So what's going on? Is there a charging system issue or does this battery have to be hooked up all the time? What's going on? Tell me, watch. So what's going on? Is that a charging issue? I don't know, tell me. So we know the mower runs and 
I while I was sitting up there on it I tried out the transmission because that's what the issue was supposedly about with the mower is the transmission was locked up it's not locked up it moves just fine so we're gonna take the compressor here got my air hose and we're gonna go ahead and fill up all the tires in case you guys haven't seen this I did a video review of this DeWalt compressor it's called a pancake compressor probably weighs meh, 40 pounds something like that handy handy thing to have on your farm handy thing to have in a shop I think it runs 165 psi so It'll get the job done. It'll pump all four of these tires up. I'll post a link down below to all the tools that I use. Most all my videos, I always leave a link down in the video description to all the tools that I use throughout the video. Just in case you decide you want to get one or you want to check them out. So the biggest issue with the mower right now is the steering is completely slam locked up. I could spray PB Blaster on there and try and free it up. I've already worked it as hard as I could with my hands and I'm afraid I'm going to rip the steering wheel off of this mower. So I think we're going to soak it down with a little bit of PB blaster or some sort of penetrant and see if we can get the steering to work. Let me show you. So the steering is just locked slam up and it's been sitting outside so I don't know. We'll see. I sure do like tinkering on lawnmowers and such. Mm -hmm. It's got plenty of gas in it. We know it runs and we know it moves on its own power. Now I have been suggested by several of my viewers that I should do the 40 mile an hour backward slam on the brakes unload of the lawnmower. Guys, this is Poncho. He's hiding behind the camera. He's my helper today. He's actually being my cameraman. Say hey, Ponch. Hi. I think we should do a full speed backup slam on the brakes unload. Tell you what, what I'll do is let you guys vote on it, okay? So whoever wants to see me unload this thing going 40 mile an hour backwards and slam it on the brakes, post a comment down there. And if you don't want to see it, just say no. I don't want to see you unload and have fun with the uh, John Deere Gator lawn tractor flying through the air going 40 miles an hour backwards. So we'll put it to a vote. It's your turn to decide. Woo! So it's no secret, today we got to pick up more rocks and sticks. Me and Poncho managed to get the big fuel tank off of the back of our little trailer down here and we'll take you down and show you that. We're going to hitch this little trailer to the gator and we'll use the trailer for sticks and the back of the gator for rocks and we'll load that trailer up with sticks and put them in the burn pile and then we'll put rocks on the back and we're going to actually build kind of a little rock wall in behind the house. That's what's going on today. We just got back from the tire store. We took the lawnmower tires in and had those serviced, picked them up. It only cost me 16 bucks. They took all four wheels and tires apart, put new sealant around the outside edges and checked them to see if they had any kind of air leaks whatsoever. Awesome, $16, what a great place to live. So what me and Mrs. Stony Ridge couldn't move was that big fuel tank right there. It's got about five gallons of diesel fuel. I just wanted to keep some fuel in it. And it's just a big aluminum tank and an aluminum toolbox, but it probably weighs somewhere in the neighborhood of 250 pounds. Just too much for Mrs. Stony Ridge and I to get on our own. We got our trailer ready. We're gonna hitch it up to the gator and we're gonna use it. All right, on to the next project. Make sure we don't lose no trees, Punch. How they looking? Should I go faster? Having fun, guys. We're not gonna take it. Here's the fire pit that we used last night. And basically we have this fire pit here because there's a stump right in the middle of it and we want to burn that stump out. So we're just picking up all our sticks and putting them in the fire pit. That's all the stick talk I'm going to have for you. We'll take you back in the backyard once we get a load of rocks and we'll show you what we're doing to build kind of a rock wall, just basically a rock barrier between the woods and the yard. I think it looks good. <sighs> dust on the lens guys have been busting butt see that trailer right there we got two loads like that and the gator's full of rock tell you what my back hurts your back hurt yep. kicking butt today man i like it i like it guys i encourage you to get out and do something make you proud today right punch yep. right on guys while we're working today i want to give a shout out to some folks called north country off grid i don't know how in the world they do it but these folks actually live off grid I talked to them on the phone the other day. They're really nice, genuine people, and I think you should check them out. It's called North Country Off Grid. Good friends of mine. 
friends of the Stony Ridge Farmer. So you can probably see back here, we just kind of started a little bit of a rock wall. Not really a wall so much, it's just a barrier to the yard. And there's no use in wasting these rocks, throwing them over in a hole or anything like that. I want to thank Ponch for all of his help today. Thanks, buddy. It's been a really big help to me on the farm today. Thanks a lot for coming and joining me. Please click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And if you want to see how a real farm works, right here is where you're supposed to be. Click the little bell down there if you subscribe and it'll notify you when I post a new video. Come on back and see me. Thanks a lot. Woo! Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids.